let's take a look at which one of these fractions is larger, one third or one fifth. So the first way you could think about this is let's divide this into three pieces. One, two, three pieces. And each piece is one third. I don't have it perfect, but you get the idea. Down here, let's divide this into five pieces. So like this, there you go. One, two, three, four, five. Each piece here is gonna be one fifth. So you can see these pieces here for one third, each piece is larger than each piece with one fifth, one third, that's greater than one fifth. That's the first way to do it. Here's another way you can do it. You could find a common denominator. So I'm gonna multiply three times five here That'll give me 15. And then down here, I'm gonna multiply five times three, and that'll give me 15. So now I have the same denominators. When I have the numerators, I'll just compare those. Since I multiply the three, the denominator by five, I also have to multiply the numerator by five. That's because five over five is one. So I'm just multiplying by one. I don't change the value, just the way it's represented. One times five, that's five. Down here, we'll multiply by three, one times three, that gives us three. And now we can compare. Five is larger than three, so five fifteenths is larger than three fifteenths. Since these are equivalent fractions here, one third larger than one fifth. And you can tell how much larger. Five fifteenths minus three fifteenths, that's two fifteenths. So one third is two fifteenths larger than one fifth. Pretty fancy. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.